But I was like, hey, let me go ahead and just upgrade to Windows 11 because that's the next big thing that's coming out about a half hour or so and see if it's done. I'm back. And of course, it's like, OK, it's working. I see a few little updates. And mm-hmm. next thing I know, my screen goes from like looking like this, like we are right now, to something like. Mm. <laughs> To everyone today, I want to say thanks so much for joining us. My name is Brett with Anvil, where we turn research into results that matter. So before I get started, I want to introduce what I'm going to show you today. I recently talked to Corey Powell, who is an HP laptop customer. And in this brief interview, he takes us into his personal view, as well as his story or experience upgrading to a Windows 11. Now, there's some frequently asked questions you already may have in the back of your mind that you want answered. I'm going to go over those really quickly before we get into the interview. The first question is, how do I get the Windows 11 update? Windows 11 is available to install from your Windows update in settings. The page called Windows update in settings. Number two, some may ask, well, how long does it typically take for the Windows 11 updates to download? And that really just depends on your internet connection speed. So if you have fast Wi-Fi or if you're connected through ethernet, it just depends on that speed. Some of you may be asking, how do I see the Windows installed updates. You need to go to start into settings, then Windows update, and then click on update history. You're allowed to also choose to remove certain updates, specifically if you wanna click on certain updates that you don't want on your computer. I don't personally recommend doing that while you're in the middle of installing your Windows update. It should be only under necessary conditions that you would remove a specific update. Finally, I'm speaking to those who are maybe looking for a laptop, a solid laptop. I recommend the HP Pavilion laptop. It's down um, under the comments. If you're interested in purchasing a new computer, this is a great mid-grade computer. Um, Check it out. I do believe the HP Pavilion does come with the Windows 10 which everyone, I assume, everyone is pretty much knowledgeable or more familiar with Windows 10 versus the new update of Windows 11. This video is just a little bit different from the other videos that I've previously uploaded. You'll get to see me under a different light. So sit back and enjoy this mini podcast that I was a part of. So yeah, uh, with your, with your, it was a laptop, right? You had- um, Yeah, I had bought an HP laptop um, a few months back and you know, every now and then with any kind of computer, um, particularly at Microsoft or anything that's running Windows, you're going to get updates. Right. And in the process of getting updates, you know, hey, there's a patch for this and there's a patch for that. We need to update this because, you know, some type of security warning or flaw. Right. And it's no problem. So, yeah. you know, I, I do that kind of stuff every now and then. Right. Um, and this time it was running Windows 10, perfect operating system for me. I wasn't doing much on the laptop to begin with. Um, but I was like, hey, let me go ahead and just upgrade to Windows 11 because that's the next big thing that's coming out. Yeah. Lo and behold, I go ahead and run it, and I know <laughs> you can't do anything while it's upgrading or doing anything. So I was like, okay, I'll right. just walk away. Right, right. And I come back about a half hour or so and see if it's done. Uh, I'm back, and of course, it's like, okay, it's working. I see a few little updates. and. Mm-hmm. Next thing I know, my screen goes from like looking like this, like we are right now, to something like, mm. <laughs> oh, what I, whoa. I'm like, yeah, that was brown, but still, still, uh, yeah. <laughs> I get it, I get it. <laughs> it just completely took me by surprise, and I'm sitting here like, okay, I, I I just updated the operating system. That's all I did, right, right. Um, and knowing knowing what I know, I, I should have backed up my stuff or. Mm-hmm. Um, had a way to back things up and I didn't because again I'm not really using a laptop but at the same time there's stuff on it I wanted to keep and wanted to save or share or anything like that right. so I called HP um, Hewlett Packard and they're like okay well, let's try to diagnostic and get into it and see what's going on and it's like oh okay well we can't do anything but fortunately you're under warranty and you know the first thing they tried to tell me I dropped it like wow dude, Wow, I didn't want anything like that at all, and yeah. that kind of thing. So I took it, and they're like, "Okay, we'll ship you a box and get you to send it back to us, and we'll look at it." Mm-hmm. But you may want to find some way to get the data off. Mm-hmm. Okay, so okay. I take it over to a place yeah. and get the data to be taken off. And the dude's like, "You don't have an operating system." What? 
Right. We we can upload the bios or anything, nothing of that nature. So what? You, you basically have an empty hard drive. You you have a you have a piece of machine. Marie, oh man. With no operating system, nothing on it but a hard drive. So they're like, yeah, we try to hook it up to an external um, HDMI in case it was that. And yeah. Mm. Wow. So let, let me ask you, how 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 would you uh, rate uh, HP or Hew- Hewlett Packard? How would you rate their customer service? And did they get back to you um, pretty fast? The the customer service, if I was a scale on a on a scale of one to five, five being the best, mm-hmm. um, I'd probably say a, about a four. Okay. Only because of the assumption that I dropped the machine, and and, and that that you know, yeah. if you tell somebody. It's not. It, it may not be covered under mm-hmm. warranty. Your opinion is one thing. Mm-hmm. Facts are something totally different. Right. And don't go ahead and say it may or may not be done this way or that way. Right. If you don't know the truth. Um. Yeah. And again, I get understand full disclosure and whatnot. But please understand. Don't outright say it may it won't be covered if you dropped it or we can detect this kind of stuff. Screen right. wasn't broken or cracked. There's no dents in the machine. Um, and I told you exactly what I did. I upgraded to Windows 11. Mm-hmm. Um, but needless to say, they shipped me a box. I got it two days later. Okay. Uh, nice box. I will say that much. You know, um, yeah. bubble wrap, uh, some decent bubble wrap. And, okay. And um, they provided a label warning to say, you know, you're shipping something with a battery in it. Uh-huh. And, okay. So that I sit back to them. Yeah. And I'm just waiting to get confirmation they got it. They got it. Yeah, yeah. So which which laptop again? Because I actually um I ended up um uh, buying purchasing a, a a the HP Pavilion the laptop for mm-hmm. my, for my mother, um and I did a review on that um in the previous video. But what what type of um laptop is it again? I Brad, I wish you had asked me that earlier, and I could tell you. Oh, it's all, um, it's all good. definitely HP. Okay, um, it's all good. Uh-huh. It's, it's HP. Yeah, it's, it's small. <laughs> it, it's 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 gold yeah. on plated. I can tell you that much. Um, it don't it don't matter now because you and it doesn't even right. matter now because you you can't you can't even do anything with it. <laughs> right. Uh, you know the only thing I'm mad about the design of it is I wish I had three USB ports versus oh, two versus okay the ports oh wow three so yeah. they, they're getting rid of those things I don't know on the Apple side they're they're taking them away but they just recently bought them back again but I don't know I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, they're they're migrating to a USB C and a different type of USB port to make things faster. But at the same time, ports are important. Um, if you have an external hard drive and you have um, a mouse, I like the mouse. I really don't like using touchpads. Me too. I don't. I don't. I don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's ugh, it's. I feel like I'm gonna get finger burn or rug burn or something. Right. Like that. Something is weird. So I'd rather have a mouse and use that. Um, and then if I want to have something else charging. Like right. say my phone plugged into it, and I can't have all three at the same time, so I will end up having to buy a USB hub. hub um, yeah. It does have an HDMI connection, which is nice. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, uh, but at the same time, I'd rather have that um, touchscreen, yeah. flip top, so it could be treated like a tablet. Exactly. So. Can you do the dual screens, or is it just one screen? Or it should be. Um, I think it should be dual. It probably can do dual screen. I just haven't had a chance to do anything or okay. do anything like that with it. Yeah. Um, it was just doing, like I said, it was something portable to, I, I told you earlier in another conversation, I'm sorry, um, something portable to have yeah. and, and take around nothing major. Um, it was actually replacing my home computer mm-hmm. or my, what I use, but yeah. I haven't been doing a lot on it because I'm just tired from work. <laughs> I get you, man. I get you. Computer. Well, listen, man, I, I, I'm not going to hold you up, but I, my last question Honestly, what what would you say to Windows users that are they're looking to go ahead and upgrade this thing to Windows 11? What I would suggest to Windows users, don't get the first gen of anything. That's that's the biggest thing right there. I have always told myself not to do that. I, and I broke my own cardinal rule. You never want the first generation of anything because anything. that has the most bugs on it. That's going to require the most patches on it. And just because it's big and brand new, doesn't mean it's better and and than yeah. what you already have. Absolutely, it's just changing a few things and trying to make it easier for you. But at the same time, that, that's wait. so right. And, and we live uh-huh. in we live in like uh, this world of like I got to get the latest and greatest. So people people are selling that, or the 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 companies are selling. You know, they're selling. That's a marketing thing right there. It's like, oh, what do you have? What do I? You know, let's 
let's get the, the latest and greatest, man. And, and they don't realize, oh, this only has, you know, um, 200 gigs of space. You know, it's like, right. and you, you run out of hard drive space after the second month. It's like, well, you, you just jumped over the, you know, you jumped over the cliff with everybody else. So mm-hmm. uh, it's, but yeah, first generation, no, nah, never, never that. Uh, yeah. th- they're, they're always, seems like with the third party programs and, and software, they're, they're, they're either behind or in beta testing. So, <laughs> right. And, and that's what it is. It's beta testing. And I, I should not have been a beta test. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's like, come on, man. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, you know, I'm, I find myself that I'm not the only one who's experienced this. And okay. everything that they put online, well, what I've seen online so far yeah. regarding it mm-hmm. isn't what matches what my computer does. Did. Um, oh. If I were to try to get the operating system back onto it, I would have to actually have a second computer and some software to get this stuff back onto the original. Really? Wow. Yeah. Man. Dang. Well, man. I man, that's that's crazy. Oh yeah. That's, yeah. That's crazy. I mean, and, and the way they're doing things now, when you had a disk drive, you know, I could make a recovery disk. Mm, okay. But I can't make a recovery disk with this or that I'm aware of. Anyway. Right. Right. Uh, right. So that's something I have to look into. Uh, to see if I can make a recovery US, um, USB drive and do something that way. Because, like I said, when you when I had my other computer and I had a disk drive, I had recovery disk. Mm-hmm. So that'd be something interesting for me to look into yeah. when, I, when I get it back. Okay. Got it. Got it. If you made it to this portion of the video, I appreciate you for hanging with us, sticking in there with us. I ask that you like and subscribe to this channel. Like this video. If you you receive any information, please do subscribe with us. So on next week, you'll be notified as to what we'll be releasing.